Hi guys, um, I just wanted to come on and say that everything I want to say is really deep, so if deep stuff isn't your thing, move on by, but if you're listening to what I've got to say, you're possibly interested, um, and I hope it doesn't come across as like me talking about myself, because I'm noticing a part of myself, um, in fact it's my ego that's asking, why are you sharing this? Why are you sharing this? But the reason I'm sharing this is because the energy at the moment on the planet is like it has never been before. Um, not, not in this civilization. It has not been like this the way it is right now. Um, it was previous times when we had access to this kind of energy and this kind of frequency. And... I just want to give you one example of many that have happened today. Every day is one of, like a magical day. Every day something incredible happens. And by the same count, what's going on in the world that's what you could call uh, negative, like the worse it gets, the more access we have to the positive, really amazing stuff. And that's what we learn on our spiritual path, if you like. And that's what becoming more conscious or more uh, more access to the quantum field. When you realise that on the third dimension we have duality, we have good and bad. And I've been working out how I can make these little steps towards not just being in the fifth dimension, but pulling in my community and enjoying the journey, the process of starting to make the kinds of friends that in the past I would never have made. It's like in my 30s, well in my 20s I was going through family life and trauma, massive trauma. In my 30s I was going through my rock and roll stage where I was drinking a lot, getting stoned every night and trying to bring up my teenage children. And then in my 40s, it was about being single for four years and having romances and having really amazing romances. And then having a relationship that brought, it was all about business and creating more business and opening a second Pilates studio. And it was kind of focused on that. My 50s, oh my fucking God, my 50s were about going to Bali, Thailand every winter for six months, five months, four months. I went, you know, like always for months, one time at nearly six months. My 50s were, were stunning. And then last year I approached 60. And there's a, there's a certain confidence that comes with a woman who has had an incredible life, who's had a colorful life, who's had different relationships, like three loving relationships, and lots of romantic, amazing flings that have changed you. Like there will be many of us, I'm sure but feeling very privileged to have had this incredible life. And so now we women have, we leaders who are women, and there are men out there as well who have really starting to, starting like 60s young, like the elders are the ones who have this rich knowledge and this rich experience. And I have never believed in age. I've never believed in aging. I've never, I've never bought into the idea that you have to get old, sick, die. Like I've never, I've never bought into that idea. I just wondered if it was recording because I have been known to do, um, to get really into what I'm saying and then, and then find out afterwards it's not recording. So apologies for that. But in our culture, aging has not been accepted. And because I know that I can change the way I feel in a heartbeat by what I'm thinking, what I'm doing, how I'm being, you know, if I'm aware of my posture, if I'm exercising, I can change my skin and get a facelift within three or four days if I do green juices and some breath work. I can walk down the road like a 28 year old if I do my Pilates and I can have the calm of a monk if I sit in meditation with a group of beautiful men and women, human brothers and sisters. I've never bought into the program. I've never bought into the, the conditioning about age. I just don't. 
I believe, and I believe this, from really when I lost my first husband when I was 25 and I was left with two babies. And when I saw what happened to me and thought that would never happen to me, and it did. But what it taught me was that actually, do you know what, while I'm here, I can make anything happen. I can make anything happen. And I'm here to do that. I'm here to change the world and to inspire everyone else to do the same. Some of us are just like born leaders. Some of us are warriors. And instead of being thought of as woo-woo, which I know I have been in the past and I've pulled it all together, like really trusting and in my knowledge and my knowing, which may be different to other people's knowing, but I'm really happy with the work I have done on myself. And I'm really happy with who I've become from being a sort of drugged up, broken, widowed mum at the age of 25 to everything that I've done and everything I've achieved. I'm proud of, of where I've come from. And um, yeah, so when I taught my class today and I offered it as a freebie to my few clients I've got left after closing my studio, and I started teaching and I said to them, this is a free class. The reason I'm doing this free half an hour session is not to teach Pilates. It's because you are my community and they're all jabbed up. OK, they're, they've got their jabs and, and they're in that world and that's OK. And I taught them and I said, it's a freebie because we're just going to have a, a workout together for half an hour in our community. And it just felt so good. It felt so good to 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 do what I have a passion it turns into like an old one of those old toning classes you know with the curl ups and the three four three two one and it was and I, and I, and I loved it and it was brilliant it was amazing and I did it with my girls you know the girls that I've been working out with over decades you know some of those some one of the girls there I've I've watched her go from a young girl into meeting her husband and getting married and going to her wedding and watching her have a child and you know, I've been, they've been part of my life for, for decades, you know, and three of them died from cancer last year. Some of the older ones couldn't do the Zoom classes. And, and I kind of lost interest when I, when I closed my studio because I knew that I was meant to be doing other things as well. But the passion for, and, and the, just the natural ability, I guess, to just teach exercise is part of who I am. It's what I do. It's, it's, it, I can do it like I can do it breathing. And to have that kind of, and to have found in my lifetime that passion and to be able to support others in finding their passion and holding them in their dreams, you know, creating dreams and always myself being one step ahead of that so I can, I can guide the way, I can lead the way. And that's, that's what I love doing, so. If I can inspire you in any way, in uh, any level, like, or if I do inspire you, please let me know because I never live in my comfort zone when I'm creating. When I'm uh, connected to that <clears throat> Christ consciousness, when I'm connected to that energy, I, I'm guided, I'm guided to offer what I offer. It's often very difficult when the ego is saying, you can't do that, don't do that, no one else has done that yet, you'll, you'll be the first to do that, no, it won't be accepted, it, people will think you're weird, people will think you're woo, no, that's the ego. If you're gonna make change, if you're gonna be a change maker, if you're gonna stand in your sovereignty and trust in your instinct, trust in your third eye. People were at Heart Circle here last night, for the first time in their lives, they were experiencing activation, physical sensation at their third eye and they'd never ever felt it anywhere other than in this place. This energy is powerful and it's real and it takes courage and guts to follow this, this intuition, okay? This is the third eye, the pineal gland, and it's powerful. It's really, really powerful energy we have the opportunity to have access to at the moment. And uh, I could talk a lot more about this, and I will be, and there ain't no stopping me. Big love, everybody.